Hello from BMW South Lakes. Today we have a uh, active tourer for you, it's finished in Glacier Silver. This is a two litre petrol turbo engine in it, so this is a 220i. It's the M Sport, so you've got the more aggressive uh, bumpers on there. You can see that comes down a little bit more at the front. Quite an aggressive sort of profile to the, uh, to the bumper there. Um, if we come around the side, you'll see this one's also got privacy glass on the back as well. So quite a striking car, loads of space inside these when we go and have a, a quick look inside. So glacier silver on the outside and then the interior is finished with black Dakota leather. Being the M Sport you've got the bigger side bolsters on the seats as well so holding in place during cornering and you've also got this adjustable under thigh support as well. Seats are height adjustable uh, and they also have tilt on there as well. All right let's get started. So automatic gearbox on, uh, on this model and it's a keyless start. So once your foot's on the brake, press the start button as long as the key's inside the car and uh, there you go, she'll start up. Uh, satellite navigation, standard on, on this model. A couple of air vents down here as well. You've got a um, CD player. I know they're getting a bit old fashioned, but nope, still has a CD player. Um, you have got the favourite button, so you can program these with people's phone numbers or um, places you want to go. Uh, I tend to have uh, my home address on, on one of them, so rather than having to go through the different menus, uh, I can just press that one button. It tells the car I need to go home. Because the car's got real-time traffic information, it will then tell me the best route to go home. So if the motorway is shut, for instance, I won't get stuck in traffic. Below that, you've got the dual zone climate control. So your passenger, there we go, can have a separate temperature to the driver. So I said you've got the air conditioning and then the climate control. Uh, if you want them both the same because of OCD or anything, you, you can just uh, link them both to, together and adjust it on the driver's side uh, side one as, as well. Um, below that, you've got the different driving modes. So you can flick it up to sport. Um, Hold, the gears will then hold on to uh, the gearbox will hold on to the gears a bit longer uh, it sharpens up the throttle response and if you can get into focus just below that eco pro so you can come down out of uh, sport into comfort which is where the car will start which is kind of the balance settings and then down into eco pro this will uh, they can make the car feel a bit sluggish a little bit slower uh, but will help save you your fuel and then just over here you've got the traction control button uh, electric handbrake on the two series uh, and then this is your eye controller so this is what controls the screen up here as well so if i zoom out you can see where we are uh, so we're based in um the northwest we're based at the, right at the sort of southern tip of the uh, the english lake district there um zoom out again. Uh, just to the north of uh, morecambe bay so uh, we're about 10 minutes off junction 36 of the m6 so uh, if you fancy coming to see us, then uh, the coffee machine's always on. We've just refurbished our showroom, so uh, we're always happy to uh, to show you show you around, see what we've uh, we've got. We've normally got some interesting uh, vehicles on site. Being part of the Lloyd's group, we've also got access to over 500 uh, used BMWs as well within uh, within group. Um, what else has this car got? Go. So we've got a central armrest, additional storage underneath. If you don't want the armrest, you can just lift it out completely. Uh, you've also got additional storage underneath and a USB port in there as as well. Um, well the trim on this car, you've got this high gloss black finisher with the with a pearl chrome around there, which looks quite nice, and that's carried on into the doors as as well. Um, being an M Sport, you get lots of M badges, but you get the slightly thicker steering wheel, a couple of thumb hooks on there as well. You also can control the gearbox using the paddle, so you've got uh, downshifts on this side and upshifts on the right. Um, you've also got cruise control and speed limit device. This is really handy if you're on the motorway and it's average speed cameras. Set that at the 50 mile an hour and it won't let you, you go above that. Um, on the other side, voice control for certain functions, uh, volume up and down for the radio, you can switch between Bluetooth, CD, radio on here, you can change radio stations as well, uh, and obviously you've got Bluetooth for, your for the phone, so you can answer phones and uh, uh, put them down. Uh, dash up here, you can see the car, there you go, it has just done um, 7,700 miles, you flick through, there you go, 7,727 miles. Um, Different feature on there, it's also got a digital speedo over there. We can get back to it. Uh, 
there we go, oh, it's past it. Um, get there eventually, there, there we go. Uh, so it's also got a digital speedometer as, as well as the, um, as well as the analog one as well. You've also got, get over here, there you go, automatic wipers, and you can change the intensity on this little rocker switch here. And over here, you've also got uh, automatic headlights, and you can uh, fog lights front and fog lights rear as, as well. Um, I think the only thing to say, else to say in here is the emergency button. So if you feel you need the BMW emergency services, press that, then press the, the orange button. That'll uh, dial through to BMW emergency services. If you're unfortunate enough to have an accident where the airbags are deployed, then this system will work automatically for you. Uh, it'll ring you. If you don't answer, it'll then send the emergency services. Also, the, they know where you are because the car's got GPS in there. So if you're unconscious, you know that, uh, that help would be, uh, they'll be on its way. Right, let's have a, have a look at the rest of the car. So loads and loads of room in the back of these uh, active tourers. Get that, there you go. So if you're carrying uh, adults around or, uh, you know, there's plenty of room. If you're carrying kids around, there's loads and loads of room. And talking of kids, you've also got a couple of USB-C ports in there as well. So that's the uh, high capacity data and uh, fast charging as, as well, as well as a couple of air vents. Good storage in here with these um, nets. And then you've got some deep door pockets as well. Put drinks in there. Uh, three seat belts in the back, so you can get uh, five people in here, but the one in the middle, obviously, as always, gets a little bit short changed. Uh, ISO fix is on the two outer seats as well. Centre armrest you can pull down, there's a couple of drinks holders in there as well. And there you go. Right, let's have a quick look at the, uh, at the boot. Electric tailgate on these is really nice. You can also operate that from the uh, the key. The boot is split level, so uh, this is obviously the top level, and then underneath you've got additional storage in there as 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 well. Got a little bit of storage at the side. 12 volt supply there as well. Seats are then 40, 20, 40. So really, really practical. Little shopping hook here, and a shopping hook on the other side as uh, as well. So just press the button. There we have it. Right, well, thank you very much for watching uh, this video. Uh, this car's obviously currently for sale, and uh, if it's of interest, then give us a shout. We're always happy to arrange any test drives or answer any of your further questions. But uh, for now, thank you very much for watching.